Hey, what's up, Schnell? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by James at Transylvania Recordings. Infernal Hails for supporting the channel for almost 10 years. Like, back in the Transylvanian tapes days. But today one of legit my favorite Transylvania recordings releases that I think the label has ever put out and it's YouTube so I have to go at least one minute without cursing so this doesn't get buried by the algorithm so, we have the final, final release from what I read from Texas Maniacs when it comes to, like, caustic sounding, grinding sludge. Shitbag. With six, six tracks of sludge with grinding heavy insanity hailing from Texas shipbag submission. Everything about this release is absolutely insane. I had no idea this band even existed. And now I'm like, God damn it, this rules! And they're, they're breaking up. We have Keith Young on guitars and vocals, Eric Prescott on bass, and Eli uh, Dides on drums. Like, oh! Sorry about that, but real quick. Before we go into that insane sludge part that's about to kick in, I really need to clear this up. And if you're like, wait, what, what do you got to clear up here? Okay, not every sludge band sounds like I hate God grief you know like not everything under you know the sludge rainbow sounds super slow and you know normally yeah but then you have like projects like Mismore well, more so Hell than Mismore, but still, there's certain parts where it's like, this is crushing. But it's more doomy where Hell is more sludgy. And if you're like, what the hell is the difference? 
Well, that's what I'm trying to explain here. One of the cool things about sludge is a lot of the times you'll notice a lot of sludge bands are legitimately like heavier than a lot of death metal bands. Like heavier than almost anyone in the game. Like... I mean, shitbag isn't really using, like, a lot of, you know, electronics and stuff. I love, love, like, that's one of my, like, I'm a sucker for that shit. Like, when sludge bands add, like, electronics, just a perfect example, and again, you might be like, wait, I, that's not sludge. Well, here's, just, let, just hear me out. A band like Bong Ripper. Now, Bong Ripper play mostly Doom, but if you listen to Satan Worshipping Doom, it, there's it's straight up like Morbid Angel, Gateways to Annihilation, Worship. Like, some of the riffing and stuff, like... It's got that death metal edge to it. And the vocals here are legit. One of my favorite things about Shitbag. And these six tracks. Uh, Disassociate is like under a minute of just kind of like, whoa. Like, especially because I've never heard this band before. So when I when I first put this on, I just was like, like instantly was like, oh shit, okay, like this is gonna be a treat, and yeah, I've been listening to this again. I like guess is one of those like releases, and um, I'm sorry, Broda Quinn, but like I, I had to take like like Broda Quinn. Instruments of Torture, I, I've been listening to it a shitload, but like, after playing this two weeks ago, I've been like sneaking it in, probably daily, like I'm not even joking, like, if I have to do work in, in here, like since I broke my neck, I'm legitimately not in my room, room, because I still have to sleep in a hospital bed. Like, I'm sure I, I could sleep in this bed. But, I legit get, like, worried about certain... Because, like, sometimes I still, like, I wake up and I, like, legit, I'm like... Oh, fuck. Like, if... if feels like I freshly broke my neck, which is not the case. I broke it in 2021, but there are some days where legit I wake up and it's like, oh my goodness, like what the hell happened last night? Like, did I like sleepwalk and like walk into a, a chair shot by Schlack? No, but um... Legit, hell on earth is worth the price of admission alone here from Submission by Shitbag. And I don't really like using that term caustic sludge, but seriously, if you dig like Newthgrush, oh my goodness, like that. that it's like Newthgrush heavy, but like some of the blast beats and it's just fucking sick. I can't get over these Texans. Like how and one second. I'm just looking for my uh Insect Warfare tape, I want to see something. 
Of course, it's not where it should be, so... Here it is. But, like, I, I love this shit. Like, reminds me a little bit, like, like I said already, like, no funeral. New crush. It's great. It's legit, it's great. But, um, I just want to see something. I'm just curious if they share members or anything. Modern grind essential. But seriously, shitbag? Wow. And the production and everything, so sick. And this is for 2022. I'm trying to see, uh, like, because, like, when I first looked at this, I legit, I was like, I wonder if this is, like, some, like, Pink Floyd, you know, like, weird, like, hippie band, and no, it's the complete opposite of what I thought it was going to be, and that's fucking what I want, because this shit pissed. And, like, when it comes to sludge, it, like, legitimately nails. Like, what I'm hearing right now is, like, I'm trying so hard not to just, like, smile. Because this fucking rules! Everything about this release, I can't. Recommend enough. It's fucking crazy. Shit bag submission. Six tracks. Yo. Like, I personally, like I said, I'm fucking, I love how weird this fucking shit is, and how heavy it is. Check it out yourselves. Holy shit. Yeah. It's gnarly. I love how they kept the tape cosmetics just sick with the face. And seriously, six tracks heavy as fuck. 
It's the sound. Like a garbage truck. Dropped off the Empire State Building. But seriously, like, as soon as you hear, like, Hell on Earth, every track on here, including the under a minute, like, intro to the record, which is not actually an intro there's like vocals drums everything it's just kind of like a little like hey wake up <laughs> like here we are and it's time for shit bag because submission holy like i i saw that like i mean if this is the end of this band's career and they have a back catalog. Well, now I'm interested. You got me on a hook. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking. If you are one of those people, when you hear the word sludge, I know some people, for some unknown reason, and, hey, if you don't like Crowbar, I'm sorry, but, like, they are, like, scientifically one of the heaviest bands ever. And if you want to argue me with that, just listen to their cover of Dreamweaver. Like, seriously, I'm not even joking. Listen to the Crowbar Dreamweaver cover, and then tell me Crowbar isn't a heavy band. That's just ignorant. Like, I'm sorry, that that is an ignorant statement. It's not opinion when it comes to Crowbar. Crowbar is heavy as fuck. Like, sonic Access in its purest form. Oddfellows, like, come on. Do I really, like, when I, like, I don't know if it's, like, the kind of connection... Crowbar has with Pantera and like down that like kind of make like more I would say death metal like just straight up you know people that just won't even like listen to Gorephilia because like why would I listen to that when I could listen to Depravity like one of those people which is fine because I'm I, I I get caught in that shit too sometimes where it's like, well, do I really need another band that sounds like Cannibal Corpse? No, but sometimes it's like, yo, this is sick. Like, this cannibal worship is done very, like, especially if you're doing early Barnes. And it's not too obvious. That's when it's like. Oh shit. Like that was awesome. Like the new Mortal Wound record for example. Like total cannibal worship. But. It's it's own fucking thing. Thanks to the whole Vietnam tie-ins and just like for real i know like frozen soul and a lot of those early maggot stomp bands have played with cannibal corpse put mortal wound on that shit and watch what happens seriously like biggest death metal band on the planet they would become I'm not even I'm not just saying that I'm standing by these words because yeah like really like what right now I'm trying to think like when it comes to like bands that like if I threw it on and I want that like kind of barns time period sounding like death metal 
The only thing that's a little bit different with the the new Mortal Wound is like there's a little bit more of a hardcore influence. Like that's it. Like there's parts that like are probably written for a live setting so you can spin kick your friend if you want. But at the end of the day, it's just to me, fuck yeah. Like it's sick. It's what, you know, I I want. And, like, it's the same with, with the new Nails record. Like, I know a lot of people, what, like, how are you, you know, blah, 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 blah. like, Nail, like, I know you love early Nails. Like, this sounds nothing like on Silent Death. Like, what? It's a, for one... It's a new lineup. Two, it's the first Nails record since You Will Never Be One of Us. So just calm down. Because I feel like this is legit. Like, probably, it, it, it's one, it, Abandon All Life is still number one. But like, this is its own thing with nails though but i really like because normally the hm2 shit i just i, I can't deal with it because it just feels lazy it just feels like something extra for a hype sticker like for fans of entombed like normally i'll pass I, I'd rather just listen to Entombed. But this... Like, remember the term Entombed Core? Well, guess what? This actually nailed it. No pun intended. Because I remember when, like, Unsilent Death and shit first came out. People were like... Like, you had people calling it, like, everything from power violence to grind. To me, Nails have always been a hardcore band. Yes, just like Shitbag, they have outside elements. But, like, there is a big difference between these three records, which have a little bit of HM2 abuse. Not too much, but enough to wear. I remember they were under that label for a little bit. Like, of, like, HM2 core. And I always was like, ah, like, whatever. But this, Every Brit Burning takes that and takes it to a whole new level where I, like, legitimately, something I usually, like, kind of hate. Unless it's Dismember or, like, Entombed doing it. Like, holy shit. Some of these songs are just... I, I don't know how else to say it, but fucking wow. Like, just blew me away. With just how, how goddamn good and heavy they are. And that's the same with, like, Shitbag on submission because even though at the end of the day I would just call this a sludge album like the parts that grind grind hard as fuck like seriously hard like as hard as the new mortal wound is to just you know like I, I, I love the demo and the split. Real quick, let's just... Just because they're right in front of me. And I just want to make a quick little comparison. Because this is death metal. But it's death metal with a little... Hardcore influence. But not so much... On forms of unreasoning fear. The split with Gutless is so goddamn good. But... I'm telling you, when they get to do a legit U.S. tour, 
You'll see. One, like, bi the biggest, the next biggest death metal band. Mortal Wound. If it doesn't happen, those dudes are very busy. I know that to begin with. Like, uh, I know they work, like, merch for other bands and, and stuff like that, but for real, put Mortal Wound on a tour with Terror or Cannibal Corpse, and legitimately, like, I, like I'm not even joking, they will win over a Terror crowd, they'll win over a Cannibal Corpse crowd, throw them on a nail show, they'll win over a, dude, trust me. One of the few bands that properly can win over. Like, I saw them blow, blow violence out of the water. They blew X Hoarder out of the water. Deceased? It's deceased. It fucking rules. But, yeah, I was so blown away seeing Mortal Wound live. Nothing but respect to Sam and the boys. Now, I know Gutless is in Australia, but I know when they drop a full length, it's going to be a heavy hitter, just like the anus of the world. And in case you were wondering, this is a tour version. Sam hooked it up. Same with the reissue of Forms of Unreasoning Fear. So these is like, you know, aren't tour tapes are fucking awesome. I again, that's another one of those things I love. I love tour promos. I, I just I love that shit. I'm a sucker for it. I'm also a sucker for grinding sludge. And that's what shitbags do. Like Legit, there's whenever I hear a band like this, and it just automatically puts that like smile on my face of like, whoa, like, holy shit, because like I uh, I'm trying to think like Hatred Surge is from I think Houston, I got to see Hatred Surge once, and they they were fucking badass, but uh, again like certain parts of this. Kind of reminded me of like, I was like, oh, like that kind of sounds like hatred surge, but like not in any remotely negative way. In like, a, yo, like that sounds like shitbag. Fuck yeah. <laughs> like, this is legit, like a grade A slab of grinding sludge weird madness. Shipbag submission, seriously. I, I can't recommend this Texan slab of sludge enough. Get into it before it sells out and you're like, no! But, um, okay, real quick before I close out. When it comes to Black Curse, the new album, I think the pre order. It's Thursday, not Friday, but I don't know. So just keep your eyes open, but Matt from Dark Descent made a post on Facebook kind of saying, like, put some money aside because Black Curse pre-orders, but, like, it's still through Sepulchral Voice Records. So that means... Like, if Dark Descent has this shit stateside, like, I'm, the patron shit at the moment, we have to wait until the 5th of October, so, I'm hoping that I could set up something where I can at least grab the cassette version now as a pre-order. As someone wanted to donate, um, they asked like me to pick some Grindfather releases, and I kind of was like, 
like it would if you really wanna like 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 I I feel weird if you're gonna spend I I don't know but I was just like yo like it would be easier if we just get the new Black Curse pre-order tape and just that's it like you don't need to get like four tapes or whatever like, just just that alone like solves a big pro like just some a release I really want to go over and uh, trust me I've already gotten blown up about it <laughs> so yes I understand you good people want the new black curse I'm working on it like legit I'm working on it but in the meantime ship bag submission don't sleep on this fucker Thanks again to James of Transylvania Recordings. Everything so far has been sick. Thank you. Thanks for watching again. As always, you fucking rule. Infernal hails and...